mean, I, I've been to Burgundy a couple, two or three times now, and um, having looked at the way these those guys are doing, doing what they're doing. I mean, I love Pinot Noir, I love Nebbiolo, so I'm looking with the Sangiovese to make that style of wine. So for me, it's always been a dream to to get a, a few cement tanks in here from Nombleau or from whoever, but we decided on Nombleau, and it was great because I got a clean slate, as you said, to, to do what I wanted, what I wanted. So it's, um, so the first thing was to get the, the non-blow tanks in. Um, and then we got two fermentation tanks from Gagne, who's another small producer of wooden barrel, wooden fermentation tanks in Burgundy. And the idea behind all this different types of ferments get as much complexity into the wines as possible. Cement holds, holds the heat and holds the cool so it's, it's great insulation and this, the fact that it's not lined, it's just a cement, gives more minerality to the wine too. Um, the other thing we, I chose was having been in Germany for eight years, um, got to know a small producer of de-stalkers and sorting machines called Armbruster and they've come up with this new machine which it basically the, drops the grapes in the top and it basically vibrates. So you've got the similar sort of system with a, with a cage but the, the internal bit, the grapes come in, it's, it's vibrating, so they just, like a mechanical harvester outside, it basically shakes the grapes and they just fall off. So there's no actual mechanical pushing against anything to get the grapes off, so it's very, very soft. And amazingly, when, you, when it comes out and we put the bin underneath, which we then crush by feet, they come out totally whole, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm looking forward with the crushing of the feet to get a sort of uh, cold maceration with a carbonic maceration going on with some of the berries which we don't quite crush and then you get a very soft crushing with the feet which means you don't get any hard tannins and then we're doing long macerations as well so the cement tanks are fantastic for that so you've got them in these in these great containers which is sort of like a, like a stone um, and long maceration meaning you're getting all the flavor and mineralization from the, from the cement as well it doesn't actually change i mean the cement is neutral um, but it it's and it breathes um, so it's not like stainless steel, which you have this feeling with stainless steel that you're, it's just totally sealed and, and cold. The cement, uh, it's got more, more, more play in it, I hope.